Hey guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Soul Sacrifice Delta. And on this episode, we're taking on a brand new storyline section within the Avalon faction called the Reaper's Gloom. So this is DLC story, so you just need to update your game to get this. And you can see here that I have actually played through the first chapter before. I did try and film it, but I was actually just so tired. I was playing really, really awful. So I decided to scrap the video and refilm. So let's get going. They called him the Reaper. He hid under a mask. His robe was splattered with the blood of his victims. The Reaper fought with regard for only one thing, victory. And he would sacrifice his own allies in order to attain it. His fiendish right arm made people wonder. Just how many had he absorbed? And here I was, partnered with the accursed Reaper. I'm out here, on work. The Reaper sat... Okay, so we're going against the Wyvern. This is the build I'm going for. I am using Frost and of course I'm taking one Vault spell in case I chain attack. And um, I'm using Freeze Amp and Mine Amp. Defense Amp and also an Attack Amp on the Palm. So it's probably going to be quite a drawn out fight. But we're going to have fun. He's a really cool looking character, I have to say. I might have actually put the volume too loud, so I'll turn it down a bit. Don't think so, Sunshine. Oh, you got me then, you bugger. Bugger off. He always gets me with that sucking kick. Yeah. 
Take it in the face, Wyvern. No, he's that one. Take it. Someone told me about that trick. I've not known about it, by the way. The whole uh, being able to heal without dispelling your offering. Played all of Soul Sacrifice, a lot of Soul Sacrifice Delta, and only just found that out. So a big thank you to uh, the person that told me. He's on yellow. Got me then, didn't you? Okay, I am gonna dispel for a second. You bastard!
constantly after me. Close to death now, are we? We another curse part destroyed. Finally. Oh, he's down. Right at the end, I get a chain attack. Or skillful attack, whichever it's called. He actually looks like an interesting character, so I am tempted to save him. Please. Go on. Giant orc!
keeper, satisfied with the catch, led us to our lodgings. Work with the Reaper begins here and ends here, like clockwork. At night, he goes off alone. One time, I went to the tavern. I was greeted by a man and a woman. Skeleton and Sponsara. Sponsara spoke first, leaning forward in anticipation. Anything new? They had already hired me. Uncover the identity of the Reaper. That was their request. Okay, guys, I'm going to stop this episode here. Don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this story so far on the Reaper. If you liked this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. If you want to help me out even further, don't forget to favourite and share. As always, thank you for watching and take it easy, guys.